Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm back with a Spanish recipe. This is the Spanish fidua, which is basically vermicelli noodles uh, with um, with a tomato sauce, some peppers, and it is so good. It is uh, vegetarian, so it's good for people who do not eat meat or are trying to cut back on uh, all of that. And it's also super quick and easy to make. Um, very few ingredients, uh, simple steps. And it's a great uh, it's a great thing to prepare when you don't know what to eat or you don't know what to cook. Um, because starting with my family, sometimes we struggle to find common ground because we all have different preferences or we're just out of ideas uh, of trying something new, something nice and exciting. So this is just it and uh, it's super easy to make. So let's show you guys. So to make the Spanish vegetable fidua, here we have two cups of vermicelli. Make sure it's uh, a little bit thick. And uh, here we have half a cup of uh, tomato paste. Now we have um, tomato puree. We have the one that's pre-made. You can uh, feel free to uh, grate your own uh, tomatoes, about two large ones. 700 milliliters of vegetable broth, salt, pepper, a little bit of saffron, and some uh, Spanish smoked paprika. This one is the medium one. It's not the spicy one. It's not the sweet one about three tablespoons spanish olive oil about one medium onion that we've chopped uh three cloves of garlic finely chopped uh, and uh, about one pepper that we've cut into small so pieces. the first step is to heat up your pan and then you're just going to once it's hot you add in uh, olive oil So once the the pan and the oil are heating up, just be careful not to heat it up too long because the olive oil could burn. Now we're going to add the onions and the peppers at the same time. And we're just going to saute them for a little bit. So once they are nice, fragrant and somewhat transparent or translucent, now we're just going to put a well in the middle and we're going to add in the garlic and saute that so after just a few minutes uh, we're going to add in the tomato puree once you add in the tomato puree just uh, saute everything together make sure it all incorporates with each other and we're going to add in the salt, pepper, and the other spices. We're going to add in the pepper. We're also going to be adding in the Spanish saffron just a little bit, just for the fragrance. And also some, um, some Spanish uh, paprika, smoked paprika. And now we're just going to mix all of this together. So now we're going to add in the vermicelli and we're going to just mix that also with all of this. So once you've sauteed in the vermicelli and it has uh, been coated in all of the good flavors, now we're going to add the vegetable broth and from there on we're not going to mix it at all. add in the vegetable broth you can just gently mix it around just so that nothing sticks to each other and then you're just going to mix it like this we're going to wait for it to absorb a little bit of the liquid um should take five to seven minutes so once you see the liquid has been uh, semi absorbed then you see the vermicelli start to flow to the top now we're just going to lower it and put it on low heat and let it um cook um let it all absorb the liquid so uh, we've cooked it and as you can see it is nice and well cooked. The, this is just the tomato sauce, it's not the water or the broth. Um, so now we're just going to take it off the heat. We're going to put it down on this wooden and we're just going to cover it using a towel and let it rest uh, 10 to 15 minutes before we can uh, eat it. So this is what it looks like. We served it with some uh, wedges of lemon and um, it looks really good. It looks like it has absorbed all the liquid. There is still some tomato sauce left. 
and some pepper over here but it looks so good it smells amazing and i can't wait to try flavors are so good so you have the change of texture with the peppers they're not too crunchy which i really like because i don't really like crunchy peppers and the tomato gives it that creaminess that richness a hint of sweetness it's all it's really good and it's um it's a great balance of flavors so i highly recommend uh making this so this brings us to the end of today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed it and if you like this kind of content please like share subscribe comment down below and follow me on my social media to support me to make more content i'm available on facebook instagram tiktok and discord thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye